Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. This is Trixie here with Pick a Trix Cards and Crochet. I am going to be getting a December of 2023 reading going for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Whether you're new or returning to the channel, thank you for your patience. I know these videos are a few days late. My laptop took a crap, so I had to get a new one and some technical difficulties. Um, overall, Scorpio, <clears throat> This first week of the month, you have Knight of Cups. So something is pulling on your heartstrings, okay? Um, there could be a new love, love offer or your heart. Something on your heart is really asking you to open up, to be uh, present, to honor something that you feel true about, okay? I will also say that there is someone or something that you need to have a conversation with that either you have put them on a pedestal or they have put you on a pedestal in the past. Um, I do see here where things have been rather difficult for you. And this first week of the month, there's a need for you to really honor how you feel and allow other people in your life and situations to honor how they feel without conflicting energy. It's okay to agree to disagree with people, Scorpio. Four of Swords in the second week of the month is really bringing out this energy of you pro procrastinating or being in a state of thinking and overthinking at that. Um, sometimes we can think something into its death, uh, where when we think too long, then the opportunity has passed. Okay. The eight of wands here. So you could be traveling somewhere, going on a new trip or a journey, um, being asked to go somewhere. There's a lot of messages, a lot of planning going on in the third week of the month. The fourth week of the month is the five of pentacles. And the message I got for you <clears throat> Uh, Scorpio for this overall reading was there is help make the move changes upon you and I feel like telling you the ace of wands is on the bottom of the deck the next year for you from when you watch this you're going to be reading more studying more some of you might even go back to college or like a trade school um, get a certificate of some form um, I'm seeing you here Scorpio really investing in an area of life that scares you okay um and it's because your heart has been breaking for quite some time and it's like it's almost like you're living in the past and uh it's time for you to be present okay and being present means facing how you feel so in this first week of the month with the knight of cup spirit thank you so much for these messages <clears throat> oh wow we got all three cards out at the same time judgment so if you have a sagittarius placement go check out that reading for sure um Coming out of your shell, two of swords, having to make a decision, five of wands, don't force anything. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a need for you here to recognize that Scorpio, there could be either this five of wands and this two of swords in reverse with the judgment tells me that unintentionally you have hold back, held back or somebody has held back from you um true feelings how things in your life really feel inside and i see here in the first week of the month where it's time for you to really face a fear um and it that fear may very well just be judgment um some of you may even have an apology to offer or to receive in the first week of the month it may be both um you're blinded in some area of your life and I feel like here, Scorpio, that you're you're like, it's almost like when people passive aggressively make a joke, trying to see like tiptoe around the people that they're making the joke around, how they will re react versus like owning how you feel and not being passive aggressive about it. Having that boundary, being like very clear in conviction. You need to have clear and concise energy in the first week of the month because that passive aggressivity is actually fear. Okay, um, and so it's time for you to make the choice to recognize that sarcasm and passive aggressive energy, it's not going to be working in an age of Aquarius. And it's definitely not going to be working in a year of eight, which is what 2024 is. People are here to show up, be up. They're not repeating cycles. They don't want to come back through that infinity sign and cross the same bear that cross. A, they don't want to bear the same cross they've been crossing for years and years. And passive aggressivity and sarcasm is something here, Scorpio, that, um, I know you're good at, but unfortunately, it's falsehood. It's fear, okay? 
Four of Swords in the second week of the month. What's going on here? You might actually find a white feather from Spirit. That's somebody that has passed on letting you know they're around you. Wow, double Four of Swords. Whew. Man, take an exhale. We have another Knight of Cups. Um, okay. Five of Cups. I actually see an addiction here. You have five, five, five out on the board. Um, you could have an addiction to a myriad of things. It could be an actual addiction to like alcohol or drugs, but I'm also picking up like screens, things that have reflections. Um, you might be obsessed with looking in the mirror, doing your makeup, your hair, spending money, um, f you know, wallowing being focused on the pity party. Some of you might have refrigerator depression. You need to get on a medication. I'm not a physician. Please go seek out a doctor. Um, use that term of refrigerator, uh, de refrigerator hum, depression. It's a depression that's in the background. Um, some of you really need to seek out therapy in the second week of the month. It's time for you to come out of this state of pause, okay? Yeah, five of swords. Wow. Five of wands, five of swords, five of cups, and the five of pentacles. All the fives are out except for the hierophant. Um, you are mastering a new version of yourself, and that's allowing yourself to go through the changes of life fearlessly throughout this month. Okay? Um, there's a there's a bridge that you have to cross, and you have to make this decision in the second week of the month. And the only person that is going to make that decision is you. Okay? This is very, I'm, I'm really, and take how this applies. Some of you may not believe in therapy. That's a very scorpionic thing to say. Um, but there's something here, Scorpio, about you recognizing that um, it's like therapy. The only person that can make the decision to, to go to therapy is the person that needs therapy. So that might not be what it is. A lot of you, it most likely is. Um, but it, it feels like you are causing some pain and strife and some internal battles and have some internal fears that you're trying to run from and escape. And that's what addiction is. It's escaping the reality, escaping. Um, and, and the magician on the bottom of the deck tells me it's time for you to create and uh, take action in a direction that's going to really heal you. It's going to propel you forward and move you in a direction over the next six to 12 months. And I did say at the beginning of this, the next year for you is totally different. It's full of abundance and success and wins. And those wins are very personal to you and you alone. Okay. Eight of wands in the third week of the month. There's that eight of swords. So you have two, four of wands or two, four of swords, with e which equals an eight of swords. Um, so the eight of swords in reverse with the eight of wands tells me you are coming out of that self-imposed prison by the third week of the month. Okay. Um, the emperor's on the bottom of the deck, taking back control, taking back your power, recognizing where you're causing your own pain and suffering, recognizing where it's time to ask for help. Um, and, and that may be the very message that you need to hear that this message is here to tell you it's okay to go to therapy and you don't have to tell anybody. Um, here's the thing. If you're going to have to go on medication and if that's what a doctor recommends to you, remember, I'm not a physician. Um, if you had a heart condition or diabetes, would you complain about insulin or having to take your, your cardiologist prescribed medication, um, which therapy is nothing more than a prescription. Okay. Uh, just means that there's an imbalance in your brain and we got to balance that out. No different than an imbalance with your pancreas and having to balance out with insulin. Okay. There's something here, Scorpio, about you realizing that you are being a little bit arrogant and egotistical. And that's where that judgment is coming. You're kind of judging yourself. And um, it's like, why? Get over it. All right. Let's get two more cards here for the third week of the month, Spirit. Yeah, intuition. You know. You already know. Yeah, ten of wands. Um, it's, it's a bit of a burden for you to admit this. But I feel like by this time next year here, Scorpio, the big thing is, is that you asking for help. And that's where this, that's what this five of pentacles is in the fourth week of the month is you asking for help. Um, the five of pentacles is ordinarily two people with no shoes and one even has like a crutch and um, they're outside of a church with lights on and it's snowing outside and they're freezing with barely any clothes on. Well, if they just go knock on the front door of that church where those lights are on, the church would give them clothes so she could protect her flower. She could protect her peace, her beauty. Okay, there's something here about you being left out in the cold. And I feel like telling you here, Scorpio, you're the only person leaving yourself out in the cold. 
it's time for you to take the burdens off of your shoulder, allow spirit and the help to come in so that you can move forward in life freely, so that you can feel peace, so that you can feel warmth, okay? So that you can thaw out what's causing you pain and suffering. Magician, there he is, okay? This Mercury retrograde is really cycling back here for you, Scorpio. Mm. The tower on the bottom of the deck, Mars energy. There's there's your other energy. Um, this is a tower moment for you to admit this truth. Uh, whatever this is, it may not be. It may not be mental health. Mental health is just a really great um, explanation for this. And apply this how this could very, I'm really picking up on like internal battles. And um, Ace of Swords in reverse. Uh, you know, here's the thing. The first time you do something, it's always kind of difficult. Okay. And I feel like the first like seven or eight times that you invest in an energy, that you do something throughout 2024, you need to recognize Scorpio that you're a novice in that area. And you don't like to be a novice. You like to just be good at things. <laughs> um, but this Mercury retrograde is making you, re and there's that tower on the bottom of the deck again, making you revisit some truths about yourself that intuitively you're already very aware of. Five of Cups is Scorpio energy, okay? Being down and out. Um, changes upon you, honey. Yeah, death, there you are. If you don't make this choice, spirit's going to make you and um, make the choice for you. And I promise you, you don't want that. <laughs> um, you really don't want that. Because if Scorpio has to do the work for you, um, it's going to make you so wildly uncomfortable that you're going to look back and, and, and regret even more. And you're already in so much inner turmoil here, Scorpio. Why add fuel to the fire? The Nine of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So um, some of you, this is as basic as like you're in a really unhealthy relationship with an addict um, and you feel responsible for this person. You feel like if you walk away from this person, they are going to like wind up homeless. That's not your problem. They're a grown ass adult. Let them figure it out. Sometimes the only way to let people figure it out is to let them fall. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you have a Sagittarius around you, Scorpio, it's time to let that person go. Period. Point blank. End of story. No argument. You know the truth. Okay. Move beyond it. All right. Here. Let's get one last uh, card from the Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle deck. And uh, to close out this reading, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure, Scorpio, that you're checking out all of your big four to get a total picture of what's going on for December of 2023. Self-employment. Empowerment is on the bottom of the deck. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Yeah, you know, a, a lot of you, this is your mental health. And when you um, face your mental battles, like your internal battles, you'll realize that being your own boss is something that you don't fear quite as much as you um, right now in this moment feel like you're, you're not prepared for. Um, the magician is a, a business owner. They are a trailblazer. And um, throughout this month, I really do feel like uh, there's a way of life that you're closing out. You could have like a business partner or a boss, like you almost do more. I know people like this. Their bosses really have no business being managers, <laughs> but because they have such a good team of people under them that pick up all the pieces, those bosses stay where they're at because of those enablers. There's something here, Scorpio, about you enabling a problem in your life by um, not facing the fact that you need to help yourself, okay? Go help yourself. That's the biggest message I have for you. So I will get it to you next year. Thanks for tuning in.